So today we're out here just clearing a very, very small area to put some herbs in. Um, this ground is like terrible with just brambles and vines everywhere. In fact, this is the pile of vines we've pulled out of the dirt and in this little patch just today. And we're also pulling out in the garbage bag there um, just all sort of rubbish from metal to styrofoam to plastic lids, forks, um, etc. It's like they just let things fall and it all went wherever it went. So people are helping me just pull out the roots. And yes, Nathaniel's finding trash. Um, it looks like a broken piece of a cup handle, actually. Um, uh, so we've almost got this section finished. Steven's there digging a hole to try to get the tree out. And um, then we'll put in some herbs even later today, just in this little teeny rectangle. And then I said, okay, only a, like a week more of doing this size rectangle, um, and we'll have almost the, every day, do this size rectangle every day for a week, and we'll have almost this whole section done. So I don't know that anybody's real excited about that thought, but at least we'll get one tiny rectangle done today. So today we're working on just getting one little teeny rectangle cleared of roots and in the white bag is just rubbish that we are finding in there and just so that we can plant it with some herbs as this section here is pretty close to our back porch, very close to our back porch and and we just thought it would be a good place to to plant some herbs. So that's what we're doing today and it is warm here today. It feels like a, a warm spring day. So that's what we're up to. Yes, dear? Yes, what is it, sweetheart? Okay. Okay. Well, it's looking good, guys. I'm going to keep helping you just a second. So we've just finished getting all the, the rubbish and most of the roots out. We've got a big old pile of roots right there. And there's um, a trash bag of rubbish there, mainly like um, cigarettes, uh, packages, and styrofoam plates, and pieces of random metal that we've been pulling out of this. Um, some roofing material and I think maybe a railroad um, stake. Anyway, so we're just smoothing it out and then we're gonna cover it up with mulch. Well, this is the, the bed. Um, we just smoothed out the dirt and then we put down um, wood shavings that are pet grade that were free, <laughs> they were used. Um, so they were just being gotten rid of. So we just covered that. That's currently our mulch for the bed. And I'm about to put in some, um, a little rose and stick in seeds. And then we're due for a rainstorm, um, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, the, the dirt we've been working in is damp. I mean, it's after we get all the rubbish and the, um, the, the rubbish and the roots out, I mean, it's, well, that's more like clay, but, um, but overall, <laughs> I just found the wrong section. Overall, it's more like this, where it just is cr wonderful crumbly dirt. Um, and so I'm just going to put seeds for um, some lettuce and some um, herbs directly in the soil. And then just, you know, um, yeah, then just let the let God water it because we don't have any water turned onto this property at the moment. Um, but like I said, the soil's damp. It's, it's moist as it is. And we haven't had rain in, um, almost five days. So it's, it's retaining moisture. I think it's just because it's had so much leaf litter and stuff on it for, um, who knows how long years that it's for overall um, great soil. Anyway, uh, it was just so, there was so much trash in it 
and so many roots that we've it took it has taken us all day just to get this little square um, prepared so um, anyway I'm gonna turn this off and go ahead and make my little rose and put in my seeds and then we'll wet down the the top of the wood chips with a little bit of drinking water we have over there just so that if the wind picks up they don't go flying before the actual rain starts anyway um, that's it so here it is again you can see I've just made a little opening in kind of a rectangle shape and the reason I haven't put anything down the middle is because really this is a very small bed if I put my foot right here you can see that I'm leaving the middle actually for walking so that we can reach both sides and then if we put another one over on this side I probably will put another row of planting about right here and then again again a space for walking about the same width so just make a little use at the moment because that looks like how we're going to clear the land just in very little sections because it's pretty labor-intensive to get all these I mean this massive amount of vines and other stuff out that is just in this this area um, so anyway, that's the bed. I'm going to stick the seeds in, and then um, we'll see how things go. So here is the bed. It is around 5 o'clock, and so we're getting ready to stop and go home. But this is the finished bed. I just stuck um, leaf mulch. It's not broken down. It's not composted. It's just leaf mulch in the middle to help keep the wood chips from flying away. And I figure it will break down, and that's actually the path where people can walk. And then I stuck um, wood chips from our wood mulcher just on top of these shavings. So again, to weigh it down so that nothing went flying. And the seeds are obviously just in the row. They're not covered at the moment. They, they need to kind of sprout. And we're not covered very much. And then um, the leaf mulch. I've already been out walking on this to kind of push it down um, some but you know it's not going to compact hard because it's just um, mulch here so anyway that's it for tonight <laughs>